Last one from me. You have a, a saying that you put on fights every weekend. I don't know if you saw the news, but apparently not everyone can do that. Uh, the Jake Paul fight ended up being cancelled a week out from the from the, the the bout. I wondered if you had any thoughts on it, and I know how much you love being asked about it. Nobody can do that. Nobody can do it. And you know, I'm not going to sit up here and be happy or gloat that their fight fell out. I mean, both those guys, I'm sure, put in a lot of hard work and a lot of training to get ready for this fight. Spent money to get ready for this fight. But I will say this. Just because you were an accountant here doesn't mean you know what the fuck goes on here. <laughs> and doesn't mean that you can run a fight promotion company. You know, I think that uh, Jake Paul probably needs to get some different people around him. If he's going to stay in the sport, he needs to be with guys that actually really know how to put on fights. What did you make of the whole, his opponent was too big and... and I think they sold under a million dollars in tickets and it cost $500,000 to turn the fucking lights on at MSG. That's what I think. Oh, not to mention the fact that hotel rooms in New York and transportation and everything else is very expensive. Yeah. Um, you would know better than me. Do they get that money back if they put a deposit on the, the garden or do they have to rearrange the date or how does it work if you cancel out an event this so close to, to fight night? It depends on their deal with MSG. I don't know. That's, the, the, that's up to them and MSG. I don't know what their deal I know what my deal is. I don't know what their deal is.